Hi, patrons of Sacred Space Online and Soul Guides. Um, and even those who take our classes, I don't know sure who all will be viewing this, but there's a practice that we do in Samdhana Yoga that um, where we gather this prana, prana building breaths, and we start to pull in celestial energy, and then we pause and hold that energy and expand and you'll hear me say sometimes, expand that energy to every part of your being and that you look like you're holding out that, this, to, it creates this cross line of energy and you lift your heart and you can feel it. I've, so I started doing that and this is in our classes and, and, and it's almost in all of our classes and there's an energetic joint right here, right here behind where this line, this line of Brahma Sutra and this line connect that once you experience it enough, you begin to feel this joint. It's like a joint right here, right here, when I have, right where the cross is. And this joint is powerful, and I, I could feel it, but I didn't know the words to ex explain that. I just knew it was powerful. And it has all, as all things have come to me through feeling, and then I get a teacher or, um, that shows up and shares with me what's happening or um, in this, you know, to define this. And so I've drawn this visual up here that was drawn to me by a good friend of, uh, or a new acquaintance, but I feel like one of my um, teachers out there, her name is Mandudri, and um, she came in for, uh, we were working energetically together. And as I was having her do this afterwards, she shared what was happening. And it was powerful to me because I could feel it, but I didn't have the words for it. So I want to share what's happening to you. When you do those prana building breaths and you find that cross line and that joint, this joint right here, the one that sits behind the heart is called Brahma Bindu. And it is the intersection of Brahma Sutra between heaven and earth and Brahma Sutra this way, moving out indefinitely. So this would be North Pole, South Pole, and I think it's west and east that sits here. Let me make sure on that. But yeah, west and east if this is north. And the, this line, these lines of energy are continual. This is also, so in the body, you'll feel it as part of the sushumna, where the chakras line up. But they, this Brahma Sutra goes, exter goes infinitely in either direction. And so this cross that you hear me talk about in classes, um, like I said, I, I, I kind of fell upon it because I, I feel things. That's, what I, that's how it's all about the subtle you know, body and the healing of it. And this cross is, is extremely healing. And it is because Brahma Bindu, what that point means, what this is, this is the, this, this intersecting part right here is the meeting point of divine energy and creation. The meeting point of divine energy and creation is what you're feeling right there in the cross. This is such a powerful unveiling to me um, and a powerful way to tap in to part of that grid line that makes you up because we're all set up on this energetic grid. And that's how what we think, what we think, what we emanate without ever even having to speak it creates things. Our thoughts create our world, and it's because it's on an energetic aspect. We are on an energetic grid, and a beautiful way to tap into this divine uh, point of energy right here, this Brahma Bindu, is taking those prana building breaths and then lifting up into that cross and feeling that joint. We talk about it in other parts of the practice, but I just want to bring awareness to what this is, because once you bring awareness, it begins to make it even more powerful this connection that you have within your subtle body. Uh, I'm grateful to share these understandings with you, and I am most blessed to be a channel for this work. Thank you for joining us.